Hello everybody, what is going on? My name is Harry and welcome to another Roblox video. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a mini map inside of Roblox Studio. It's going to be a really quick, easy tutorial, so make sure you stay at the end and let's, yeah, let's go ahead and let's do this. Okay guys, to so start off we're going to need an image of our map. Now, one way of doing that is by just going ahead and going up like this and taking a picture. But as you know, you can't actually get looking 100% face down in Studio. That's just not something you can do, it's not a feature which I don't have a developer to put in. So the best way to do it, something called row render. Now let me go ahead and open up my Google Chrome here. And as you can see, we have uh, application and plugin here and we're gonna download this uh, for Windows and uh, this for Mac, Mac, sorry. And then here you wanna install the plugin and when that's done, head back into Studio. Uh, go to plugins and press on the row render plugin. Now, as you can see, this will make a little mark above your sort of world here and you want to press this auto configure button and then of course what you want to do yeah auto configure just like that and then press uh inject scripts and when that's done you do then want to go to the test make sure this number here will have to be the number of cores you have as you see down here i've got eight cores in my computer if you don't know how that just google it and then you just want to go ahead and open up the plugin so let me just open up the not plugin sorry the physical application press start server and then when you start server press start now i'm not going to do this because obviously um i have already got an image of this so i've rendered earlier just to save time in this video so yeah let's actually go ahead and let's start adding the minimap in okay so for the minimap we're using something called plums minimap so all you want to do is you want to go to this little thing where it says grab the free model and on this you just want to go and click on this and then press um get uh try and studio don't worry about this just press get and then come back to me we are back in studio here and we're going to go to our models and we are actually going to add the minimap in just like this and with that we're going to drag this into starter player starter player scripts now in here you may be wondering what's going on well, let's go ahead and show you what happens when you play. As you can see here, we actually have ourselves, you know, our game here and we have a mini map. But you may be thinking this is not our map. That is because we need to use our image and place it, well, into this. So what we're going to do is we are actually going to end this game. We're going to go into our starter player, mini map, settings. And in this little point here, which says map ID, we need to change this to our map. So we need to import, first of all, a texture so we're going to add a part here we're going to add a decal in and in this decal we're going to press texture add image choose file and that file will be uh my final render here which i did earlier we just want to click open on that press create what will this do is it'll create a render file i'm just going to place that there of our actual maps as you can see look here it is our map is in nice high quality stuff there we go we have our render we're then going to get this id here we're gonna right, we're gonna click on it like this. Uh, command C, go into our settings and paste it into map ID. Now I'll show you what that looks like. As you can see, guys, we are actually completely out. This may be our map, but we are not actually in the place where it's thinking we are in. It, I believe it's thinking we're in a completely opposite side of the map, complete different rotation, all these different things. Alright, no, it thinks oh it does know where we are here, but as you can see, it's not it's a lot slower and it doesn't really keep up. So yeah, what we're gonna do here. Is we're actually going to change some settings so the first setting we're going to change is the map center how to do it we're going to go like this plugins row render remastered and we're actually going to look over here as you see this is all nice and done we're going to grab the center position here uh get this copy and uh control c and we're going to paste it into here just like that and then the size of the map we will work out in a second two seconds later okay we need to actually work out the size so the best way to do that is by just going ahead and opening this and we're going to add a part in and then with this part what we're going to do is we're going to actually use this to see the size so i'm actually going to do this speed this up so you don't have to watch me do it okay we can get this position here we're going to not position sorry size uh, we're going to actually copy this we can then delete this part go to settings and where we go down to the map size here we're going to actually paste this in and we need to actually get rid of the middle number here because that's not actually needed we just need the vector 2 because it's on a 2d scale so now let's test this out and there we go guys that is so much better for some reason the text is still loading after robert's is out of yesterday there we go as you can see the mini map is working really nicely as you see our 
thing is accurate and shows exactly where things are. And yeah, that is how we can get our mini map here. As you can see, we can kind of go like this. We can shoot and everything is in position, which is looking great. And yeah, that is that for this video, but they're not the end of this complete sort of, I don't know, mini map thing. If you guys want to know how to add things like blips, I'm happy to make another video if you guys want to, or maybe even a tutorial over on Discord. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel as it does really help me out. I guess, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.